Welcome back. In this lecture, I'll walk you through the Databricks Workspace UI. You can see it here. Uh, basically, Databricks Workspace is your gateway to Databricks platform. So everything you want to do within the Databricks platform using the Databricks platform can be done from the Workspace. So we will keep on coming back here and uh, learn a lot of things from the Workspace itself. But before we start doing that, let me give you a quick walk through the uh, Workspace UI. So on the home page, uh, you will see some links at the top here. Uh, these are shortcut links for doing day-to-day -day activities. We might not be using any of these. Uh, when you start using the Databricks Workspace for writing code, for running code, uh, creating notebooks and all that, uh, you will see those items listed here in your recent and uh, maybe few things will come in favorites. Uh, but you might not be using too frequently uh, these things. Uh, the main functionality of the workspace is available through this left side menu. Right. Uh, I see this left side menu expanded form. Uh, you might not see that in that way. So if this is not visible to you at the bottom, uh, we have an option to collapse menu. So you might see something like this. Right. So if you bring your cursor here, it automatically opens it. Uh, collapses automatically. Uh, maybe you can change it to expanded uh, menu. I keep it expanded because it helps me to navigate easily and explain things. So most of the Databricks workspace functionality is available through these menus. Uh, the menu is categorized in different sections. At the top, you will see uh, some most commonly used items. These are mostly relevant for data engineering projects. So we have workspace here, workspace menu within the workspace UI, right? So workspace menu is your uh, gateway to your uh, code and directories and files and folders. So if you click the workspace menu, you will see something like this. It shows home here. Uh, inside home, nothing is there. Uh, it shows workspace menu. If you expand the workspace, you will see a shared folder and you will see a users folder. These are folders, uh, simple directories. If you go inside the users, you will see home directory for the logged in user. So I'm logged in as a Prashant at scholarness.com user. You can see my name here also workspace name is visible here. So you can go to your home directory. This is my home directory within the workspace. I can come to my home directory and create some resources here. What I can create? I can create folders in my home directory. I can create queries, alerts, dashboards, uh, notebooks, files, ML follow, experiments, lot of things. We will be learning uh, some of those things which are within the scope of this course are uh, basically folders, files and notebooks and uh, all those can be created inside my home directory. So workspace, inside the workspace menu, the workspace folder is where you will be creating things that will be saved in this workspace. You can create directories, you can create notebooks, files, and lot of other things. Uh, we also have repos here in the workspace. Uh, this is where you can connect your workspace with your source control. For example, you can connect your workspace with GitHub or GitHub Enterprise, or you can connect it with Azure DevOps uh, source code repository. Uh, there are two, three uh, supported options to connect your workspace with the source code, source control. 
and your files will be saved in the source control and then you can access them from here and work with those files directly you can commit uh, from here to uh, your source control we will learn those things about that later uh, but the point is that your go to place is workspace menu in this menu item where most of the development team will log in will come here and create code and run it test it from here uh, recent is a list of recent items catalog is a catalog explorer you don't see a uh, lot of things here as of now but we will see as we progress with the course so catalog is known as catalog explorer this is where you will see uh, metadata information your objects like you will see your databases you will see your uh, tables views functions all those will be visible here workflow is the place where you can come to create workflows right uh, you can create uh, complex uh, workflows where you can schedule some tasks and create dependencies between tasks we will learn about uh, that later compute is the place where you can come and create clusters right for running your code your spark code you need a cluster so you can create clusters from here itself uh, you can delete clusters you can terminate clusters you can manage your clusters you need not to go back to your azure portal and create infrastructure from the azure portal databricks platform databricks workspace uh, is the place that allows you to create your compute infrastructure from the workspace itself we will learn about it how to create clusters there are different types of clusters like all purpose cluster job compute clusters sql warehouses you can create cluster pools and you can also define cluster policies so we will learn about that so this is the place where most of the data engineering work is concentrated other than that you will see one separate section of the menu here right where they uh, aim to list other data engineering functionalities offered by databricks as of now we see job runs but job runs actually uh, comes to the workflow so if you click job runs you will come to the workflow job runs tab if you come to the work click the workflow you will come to the workflow jobs tab uh, data ingestion you, know, you click that and this will take you to a page where you can use some partner solutions or some inbuilt solutions in the databricks platform to ingest data from various sources so here is a list of native integrations these are uh, native integrations available in the databricks platform itself using a spark uh, <coughs> to ingest data from sources uh, but there are other partners like fitron so other sources are available through partner uh, tools so data ingestion is the place where you can come and maybe choose a suitable partner tool to ingest data from the source system into the databricks platform or into your lake house platform there is one more option here delta live table we will learn about it later but delta live table or dlt is databricks uh, offering for uh, declarative etl so we will learn about it uh, basically this link also takes you to the workflow page so if you come here workflow page uh, default tab is jobs tab but you can jump to delta live table tab or you can click delta live table from here and it will directly take you to the workflow dlt tab i will learn about it then later so these are the main places where data engineering team or data engineering activities are concentrated you will be using these menus uh, sometimes these menus as a shortcut but all these functionalities are also available through these menus 
we also have two more uh, sub menus like sql uh, if you look at this so databricks is also a serverless on cloud data warehouse they have that offering uh, all those functionalities data warehousing functionalities or data warehousing capabilities are available under the sql menu so you can create serverless sql warehouses you can define queries you can use sql editor you can create dashboards you can define alerts you can look at the query history all those functionalities are available here databricks is also a platform for uh, implementing machine learning algorithms so those functionalities are available under machine learning menu so all these are part of the machine learning menu so if you minimize these areas and uh, keep it like this so most of the data engineering activities are concentrated here we also have marketplace and partner connect so marketplace is uh, so marketplace is a, a place where other organizations or partners or different vendors are selling data some are giving it for free some are giving it on paid it is powered by data sharing so you can see there are uh, different vendors selling different kind of data here uh, similarly partner connect is a place where you will see different partners so let me cancel this so there are different types of partners uh, for different uh, functionalities like for data ingestion these are the partners for visualization these are the partners for data preparation and transformation these are the partners these are machine learning partners the security partners data governance so these are basically other partner vendors who are offering different kind of uh, solutions which you might need for your lakehouse implementation or for your data engineering project uh, if you need them you can directly integrate it from the partner connect uh, page uh, they offer easy integration with the databricks platform so that's all about the left side uh, menu bar uh, this is how databricks workspace is organized uh, you also have a menu here at the top right corner if you expand this you will see these menu items user settings admin settings it, this should take you back to your azure portal manage account will take you to databricks admin console and this is a privacy policy link and you can log out from here so we will time to time go to on these menus uh, as and when needed and keep on learning what is there in the user settings in admin settings or in uh, account console or manage account but for now uh, you should know that the, there is a menu here so that's it all about the databricks workspace ui um, i just tried to give you a walkthrough of the ui and so you are familiar with what is where and how to use these items what functionality they offer that we will keep on learning throughout the course as we progress with the course that's all for this lecture. See you again. Keep learning and keep growing.